Thank you. Uh, 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 first, first, thanks for inviting uh, uh, us to here. Uh, so, so Blaze gave, gave the hardware, hardware side of the Vertex, and, and I will talk about a little bit of the software side and, and our effort of supporting the CUDA. So, uh, the software uh, tech side of Vertex. So, uh, first, uh, our uh, the Vertex was uh, developed with uh, for the OpenCL support, and then uh, later it expanded to support OpenGL, and then Vercon, and then currently uh, it supports the part of the CUDA. CUDA. So, the so the OpenCL was the uh, first uh, driving uh, factor for supporting the uh, GPU programming. And we used the POCOL as our baseline to develop this uh, uh, Vertex software stack because the POCOL has the most widely uh, supported uh, most variety of the back uh, backend that it was providing. So if you uh, know about the GPU programming, GPU programming uh, needs uh, can be done in OpenCL or CUDA, and this application needs a runtime that runs on this Host side, and, and also, also there is a driver side, side of code that, that needs to run on, on, on the driver side. side. So, so because, because the vertex, vertex is a new drive, we have to add a new device target for the vertex. And then and the initial, initial our, our uh, vertex, vertex platform, platform is developed based, based on Intel's uh, FPJ, and then later uh, uh, Blade uh, expanded to, to support the Alex HBM board. So, so we've been uh, currently actively also using the Alex system, and Alex has another one time system, system that works with it. But initially, it was supported, supported with the, on top of Intel, Intel Opay APIs, APIs so, so that we also need to communicate with the OpenCL runtime, runtime and an FPGA driver side. side. And the OpenCL compiler side uh, uh, needs to be extended to support the, the Vertex part, part and then Charlie's slide, slide in the next slide. slide. And so, so the Poco compiler is expanded to support the, the uh, runtime run and Vertex passes. passes. And the, the Poco po po compiler itself, itself is uh, heavily utilizing LLVM. That it, uh, uh, it uses use most of LLVM faces and then it adds the faces that, that they need to support the GPU. GPU. So, so it is sort of ideal idea case for us as well that we can add it to the new LLVM passes that are uh, connected to this protocol. Uh, so, so, just, just, uh, just, just to be clear, actually, actually there are good questions, questions that came out. Uh, I was asking, asking about these uh, 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 split and joins. joins. So, so just to recap, recap what uh, uh, was shown, shown in the previous slide, slide. These, these are the instructions that, 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 that we added, added to support, support we convert to risk five CPU oriented architecture to support the GPU. And, and we, we just, just need this CPU number of instructions, instructions to, to make this a CPU oriented ISA to make a GPU support. And these few instructions are all related to creating a work. And then because you're working with the work or the way front. And then because it's working in the wide way of this work group, we need to have a num thread as a portrait. And then, and then also need, need to have a split and join, and then the barrier, and then, and then for, for supporting, supporting the 3D graphics, graphics components, components, we have a text change option. So the, the fact, fact that we added a new instruction means, uh, in order to use the vertex, vertex, we need to modify the compiler part. part. And so and so one, 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 one part that when, when I talk with many other people about the vertex, that they push often sort of, then I realize is vertex is, as, As a, a base, base of Risk of Five ISA, but we, we expand it to support uh, the GPU like the program model. model. And then, and then to, to do that, that we, we added additional new instructions. instructions. And the so additional new instruction is a compiler support, and, and, and also, also because the GPU is uh, operating with the host and device mode, mode it, it also requires the software stack changes. changes. So, uh, uh, first, what, what does, does it mean? mean? So, what does it mean to support? What does it mean to convert this uh, CPU oriented code into this uh, vertex code or GPU code? You know, um, remember this, uh, you probably know, the CUDA program and has two main components. There is host code and there is a kernel code. 
And the host and the code, code is typically run on like a CPU, CPU code, code, and the host code allows all of this setup, setup to launch the, the kernel, kernel and typically run on CPU. CPU. In the, the vertex code, this host, host code also runs on this, uh, runs on this uh, runtime system. system. And then there's a kernel code needs to be uh, running on this vertex cores. But, but is, if, if you, you look, look at the code, code the way the code operation is written is, is the programmer writes only one, one version of the code. code. I mean, I mean the, the code, code for one, one thread. thread. I mean, yeah. and, and the, the same, same program will be run by multiple thread. thread. That's, that's the uh, STM program style. style. That's, that's how the GPU is run in this code. code. So, so the code, code by itself, itself uh, is, is can be, this is just one thread. You can just simply translate the risk of by by ISA for each individual. Then it just become only one single thread code. Uh, what, uh, what we, we need, need to do is, is we need to make, make this code that, that all the GPU, GPU code will be replicated, this code, and then running, running it. But, but you cannot just directly replicate it because if you just replicate the same code, then everybody will execute the same component. component. So, so then what, what we need to do is, is this is SPM the program itself is using a block ID and thread ID to indicate different memory locations. Then we, then we have, have to provide the uh, correct translation for this block ID and thread ID. And, and because, because the code is written for one thread, thread and then, then it needs to be rep rep uh, replicated, and then the other really, really important part, in my personal opinion, does. The reason why the GPU put up program is so successful was. Uh, it's, it's fairly, fairly easy, easy to write, write a code, code like, like one style, style, but it, it can, can also handle divergent, divergent branches. branches. Oops. Oops. So, so the divergent supporting divergent branch is, the, is the, uh, one of the really key components, components to, make to make the code up code, code runs on, on this uh, successfully on this GPU. GPU. So, so the run that we need to support the runtime system, the runtime system's job is something like more like a memory copy or code copy, and most also, also the most challenging part of the runtime system is doing a kernel launch, because kernel launch time, that we also need to pass the number of threads, the number of blocks, the arguments, as well as, as the, all these uh, uh, custom to values, values and, and function pointers, pointers or, or the values need to be passed. And then, and then the runtime run system needs to set up the number of threads and blocks. And also, uh, our runtime run system needs to, at the end of the day, work to come and finish the work that it needs to pass back, back to this the CPU part. Also, so communication needs to be there. there. And the kernel code, code the generations, uh, that's, that's where this, this most of the compiler work is there, is, is uh, this, as I showed, this one, one we program writes a code, code for uh, one, one version of the code, it's one, one thread. thread. And then, and then every thread will just, just, in some, some sense, sense replicate the same, same time, time, but needs to do different an element of work. work. But uh, that, that code will be formed, formed as a work or wave form. form. And, and then forming, forming that and handling the divergent branches, branches that's, that's the part we need, need to insert. To insert Compiler changes. changes. So, so it's a nature uh, to ask the how this uh, divergent branch is handled. That's, that's because, because the, uh, uh, that, that question, question is, is sometimes one, one of the most important, important aspects of, of converting the risk of ISA, ISA to synthesis hierarchy architecture of the GPU. GPU. It's, it's, a big, uh, it's uh, the, the way it is to treat the branches. So we, we, we have, have to add this element the new passes to add this vertex new instructions. And then, and then handling, handling divergent, divergent branches, branches. Oh, oh, what, what does it mean? mean? Uh, Probably you do a pro code up program and knows very well about these divergent branches. branches. Uh, it's, it's an example, example of reduction in example. So the essence of the code up program is all the threads are working for the same programs. But, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, many, many of the cases, cases that we, we need to write a code, code and it's not, not necessarily all the threads, threads are actually working. working. Sometimes, Sometimes like, like for this example, example all the eight threads, threads are doing the work for the first iteration, iteration but the second iteration, only four, four threads are working, and then, second, uh, uh, and then the next iteration, only two threads and one thread are working. This can be, this behavior can be done by having a thread mask that, that we, we can, can, we also, also have, have this red mask to indicate or 
said it's, it's uh, effectively, effectively like the predications are happening to indicate what jobs, jobs among all, all these eight threads, threads which threads are active, active or, or not. not. The other the part uh, of the work is the divergent branches when, when there, there is a branch, like, like if and else. A, A it goes the, the, the branch, branch might goes, goes the B, B branch might go the C, and the mid. And, and this divergence needs to be, needs to be supported, supported properly. properly. And, then, and, and it's, it's very, very important, important because if, if we, we don't support these divergences, divergences that means, means so we, we can only use the GPU for the programs that, that does, does the work that, that all the time do the same work. work. But, but uh, many, many of the realistic programs have this kind of branches. So, so uh, the, the, some, sometimes, sometimes we, have we have to go one path, path sometimes, sometimes we have to uh, go the other path, path. And, and then, then after that, that if we, uh, we put uh, that, that part split, split and, and then, then here in the D, we have, have to meet in the, the joint. joint. If, if we, we do not, not meet here, here and then once, once if, 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 if you only split, split then, then we're not utilizing all the resources. So the split and joint in theory needs to be used only for it's really, really needed. And then most of the time, one is we want to utilize all these units in this work. So, so to, to support, support that, that uh, features that, that split and, and joins are instructions are used, it. and then, and then uh, this, this is the part that uh, Blaze uh, was uh, working until the last, last minute, minute is, is to sort of keep, keep work uh, uh, coming, coming up, up the different, different uh, more, more efficient, efficient way and more robust, robust way, way of supporting and split and join and and uh, work. work. Uh, we, we are using a, a mechanism that. that Hardware, hardware is built, built on this stack, stack. Because, because we, we need, need to know uh, when, when we're, we're joining. joining. And, and in that, that part, is provided by the hardware stack, step, but the compilers decide we need to mark the okay, this is an potentially of divergent branches. Then we need to insert a split. And, and this, this is the point that, that each, each of the split points needs, needs to have a corresponding join point so that it can it always needs to meet at, at the uh, immediate post-dominator post in the compiler terminology, terminology that, 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 that it can, can uh, meet in the there. And the once it meets, then, then all the threads within the work can be processed in the, uh, uh, the, the same, same path. path. So, so uh, besides this uh, uh, compiler uh, support, also this uh, Vortex has uh, 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 driver uh, support uh, needed. Uh, Vortex drivers uh, need to handle uh, uh, memory transfer to GPUs or, or uh, to or from, from and, and then also, also need to uh, uh, have the control uh, and status. And, and this diagram shows that mm, this, this is the, the one that we showed with, with this, uh, showing, showing all the way to the frame buffer. Uh, uh, first of all, the vertex, vertex is demonstrated with the uh, uh, FPGA, FPGA board. That the FPGA, FPGA board has a separate uh, PCI Express bus card. card. And, and then, then there, there is a separate host to CPU code is running there. there. Then the host CPU, CPU code is running this runtime, run and, and, and then the systems, and then they communicate through this FPGA with the PCI Express bus. bus. There are some other models of FPGA. The host is on the, on the FPGA board, board like, like based, based on the ARM system, system. and, and that, that also requires a different kind of the driver stack. stack. So, so what we build is more likely this is pretty GPU style that the FPGA itself, the entire FPGA, FPGA, FPGA is running as the vertex cores. And the vertex processors are, are uh, 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 running uh, interface, interface with the, the Intel's OP API. Intel's OP API provides quite a nice abstract way of communicating a FPGA chip and a DRAM memory. Or it could be a DRAM memory, but the board that we use for the FPGA has a DRAM. And this was a very important uh, because so when you do FPGA programming, uh, one of the most challenging parts of the, of the job, job is the FPGA, FPGA chip core needs to communicate with the DRAM, and, and each of the FPGA board has a different um, way of communicating the, the DRAM memory, memory and that typically is a big uh, time-consuming time job in setting up, up. whereas Intel's, Intel's uh, interface provides a nice abstract that, that its job is done with, with the, the Intel's uh, uh, software stack. stack. So, so we, we build, build on top of Intel's OP APIs that 
that, that, uh, that, that we can work on only the core and the rest, rest of the communication, the moment, the moment it, com it goes out at PJ chip, chip, and that, that is built on this, uh, the opaque handling. handling. So that, so that was, was a nice, nice interface that we could use to uh, help, help significantly to develop inter based on Intercept PJ. When, when you move to the Xilinx, because it doesn't really support OPEI, although it had a burden to do it, but it's not one of the material for us to use it. So then we have to uh, build a similar current handling system that based on the Xilinx XRT system. That's, uh, that, that was, was uh, a, a lot, lot of work that, that uh, Blaze has put it to, to support it to, to the Xilinx board. board. And then, and then uh, the working, working on, on uh, FPGA, FPGA is, is a good, good, to, uh, good, good to show the feasibility of the work. work. Um, but uh, uh, it is a very time-consuming time job, so, so it is a very essential to have the simulation stack that can, can test, test out the microarchitecture. So, so uh, we, we have, have our functional, functional simulator, simulator, and then, and then now it is used also as a time simulator, the CIMEX. The CIMEX is, is the one that has uh, uh, the functionality, functionality. So, so whenever, whenever we, we want to introduce a new instruction, that we first we start, start from, from the CMAX, CMAX then CMAX, uh, that, that is used because, because we add a new instruction, we cannot just use the, the, the risk of five uh, uh, tool chain to, to test, test our new instruction. So we have to build our own uh, simulator, but we also share a lot of the, the we, uh, share, we, we borrowed a lot of test code, code that. that the uh, risk five habit, habit to, to test, test the CMEX, uh, which was uh, very helpful for, for it, uh, make, make sure our CMEX was the risk five instruction correctly. And then, then whenever, whenever we test out and uh, introduce new instruction, that we expand the CMEX. And then, then and because, and because the CMEX is, is much faster, faster and easier to work with, with uh, we uh, add more timing component on the CMEX, and then now the CMEX is also used to estimate the performance. So microarchitecture design, design, the traditional architecture simulator is also, also used for the CMEX part. part. And then, and then and the rest other part, they have, have different levels of the simulations we can do. There is uh, RTL, RTL sim simulations, and then, and then we, we can also do the... the um, we have sim simulations, and, and because, because of debugging in Intel, OPE part, part, we also have this uh, connection in OPE drivers, drivers, and then we can test, test it that part. part. So, so the, what, what we typically do is, of course, we uh, uh, test, test out a new, new feature in the CMEX, and, and then uh, and then we add in the RTL and then debug with the RTL sims. sims. And then, and then if we uh, want to test well the FPGA part, and then especially Intel, they of that part, part, we go along in this is, uh, um, ASA uh, uh, rear uh, driver uh, side, side to, to debug, debug it. And then, and then uh, the CMAX is, is also connected with the ATBM memory system simulator. So the CMAX can be also tested with the uh, estimated performance with the ATBM. And, and now, now I'll talk, talk about the CUDA, CUDA support, support for, for the risk of life and, and also other platforms. So, so uh, we started this work as a motivation that uh, we, started we started developing the vortex for, for OpenCL, um, but, but most, most of the commercial programs, programs are written for the CUDA, CUDA so, so we, we want to support the CUDA for the, this uh, vortex. vortex. Then, then we, we also realized that in order to first, in order to test in the, in the more, more reliable, reliable uh, platform, uh, platform. Um, because, because the CMEX is good to uh, uh, CMEX is, is fast, fast, but also still, still it is emulation. Um, sometimes it's emulation, emulation. It's, it's much, much slower than native machines. Machine. So, so what we decided to do is so we develop one of the develop. We want to use development platform using commercial product if it's possible, which is said six CPUs. Then, then we realized, realize, oh, our, our job, job, what we are doing is uh, 
we want to, to support the CUDA for, for the basic of five basic GPUs, but while we are developing the platform, it's not only supporting the basic five GPUs, it actually supports for other platforms such as uh, the Intel CPUs or basic of five by itself, without, without even uh, having, having a, without, without even using a word to compose it. So, so that's, that's how we uh, expand, expand our, our work to support the CUDA in these different platforms. platforms. Uh, are, are we the, the only, only one who does, who does this work? work? No. Um, there, there are two, two main commercial products are out there right, right now. now. The, the one, one is Intel is supporting the One API and then using a DPC platform to support uh, the CUDA onto the CPUs and Intel GPU. And AMD has used the Wi-Fi translation heap and then and use, use the Wacom uh, one time system, system to, to provide the CUDA, CUDA on AMD. AMD. Uh, each, each company has their, their own style. The biggest difference with the, their, their approach and, and our approach is this approach requires all source-to-source source translations. translations. So the work, work is done in the, in the source, source level, level, the converting, whereas the approach that we use is uh, LMV only. That's, that's the biggest, biggest difference. difference. But, but the, the motivation, motivation was really, really trying to compete with this one API Rockham. The, the motivation was we want to expand it and support for the CUDA to, to our risk of five uh, base GPU. GPU. So, so of course, uh, there, there are, are two, two methods method that, that we can use, use and, and we still, still don't, don't know which method are the better, better method. method. First, First method, method is uh, uh, using a sphere V, I say. Because, because the sphere B is uh, coming, coming from, from Chrome, Chronos, and it is supported, supported by major all. It is supported, supported by all the GPUs. So, so if, if we, we can convert, convert the CUDA code, code to sphere B, then, then sphere, there are all other platforms that will take the sphere B to running. And so when, so when we started this work, this task wasn't the completed. completed. There is so, uh, some missing pieces out there. So we. We uh, uh, connect, connect all, all the pieces, pieces so, so the CUDA, CUDA is com uh, compiled with, with the clang, and, and then you the sphere V translator, and then goes to LMVM. LMVM. And then, and first, when you run the vertex, because the, the vertex, vertex is supporting a focal as the main platform, we essentially coding it through the LMVM. It can uh, change into the focal system, and then run the vertex with uh, that, that is the path that, that uh, uh, we uh, presented. Um, and, and then so this, this is uh, uh, the uh, MVP, MVP Texas Sphere Bay Translator, and then, then uh, the, the, the existing vertex, vertex runtime system, system the focal, take this uh, Sphere Bay input, input and, 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 and then running, running the code. code. And then and this, this is, is how this CUDA, CUDA code is uh, uh, converted, converted to Sphere B. So, so pro of the, this method is since Sphere B is supported by all other vendors, this is uh, supposed to be much more stable and the path this allows the CUDA to any other platform. It could it be an uh, Intel GPU, etc. But, but the, the, the challenge of what we saw at the time, time this, this work is done, done uh, uh, most like three years, years ago, that a sphere, sphere V was uh, a, a few steps, steps behind than the, the CUDA. CUDA. The, the latest, latest CUDA, CUDA features, features are now fully supported in the sphere V. For example, work voting features, features. Uh, or, or work shuffling features, 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 or corporate groups. groups. And, and those, those features are not there in the open seal, and, and therefore there is and no, and no equivalent no feature in sphere V. So we decided to go for the second option, uh, that, that then then instead of going to sphere V, since anyway we are working on LNV, why don't we just stay with the LNV? So that's, so that's where, where we started start working, working on this uh, LNVM only, only path. path. That, that applications are uh, uh, front end, take the client, and, and then, then there is uh, the, the, the runtime system, system we call the COPPA. It's the runtime system, system that uh, CUDA is supporting for parallel, parallel broad architectures. architectures. 
that uh, that, that it can support, support and, and, one, uh, and, and one 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 of the back end, end one of the long time system, system will be vortex. That's, that's how, how we uh, went, went to the method, method too. too. And, and now, uh, Spear V is uh, active. Uh, Spear V, yeah, the, the custom, custom versions, versions of the versions of the Spear V is supporting these uh, workshops and, and, and other features. features. So, so and also, also Intel and, and AMD, AMD is, and, and they are also, also expanding, expanding to support the latest CUDA, CUDA versions, versions through the Spear V, and Spear V is trying to provide all the features that are needed for the CUDA. CUDA. So, Still a little bit of a uh, uh, question, question whether method, method one is better or method, method two is better. There is uh, the, 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 the limitation that allows uh, that, that makes, makes us to go to this, this uh, departure from the sphere B is uh, uh, was uh, sphere B wasn't uh, supporting all the latest CUDA features, and, and that is uh, pretty much being, being uh, almost being served right, right now. And, uh, and, uh, uh, the, uh, the effort, effort is, is going actively going, going on, on supporting CUDA on other platforms. Other platforms. Uh, well, and and currently, currently we'll be more, be more focusing, focusing on this method, method two. Uh, uh, so, and then, then method, method two, two again. again. Then then when, when we, we do, do this kind of CUDA support work, work we, we first, first start with the XAD6 part. Because x 6 we can't really run in this extra machine without doing any of the simulation part. So, so we, bit, uh, uh, we started with supporting CUDA for the x86 and CPU part. And then, and then when, when you do compile the CUDA code, code there is a corner and host program, program that are in the CUDA, CUDA code. And host, host program is still one in, in the host program, program but now it has to use the different runtime system. system. And, and then it and then, and then the corner code, code will uh, needs to be translated. And then in the biggest challenge of the supporting CUDA code in x86 is the difference in number of threads. Because in the CUDA program written for targeting for many thread architectures, whereas x86 has a much fewer number of threads. So that we need to provide the necessary transformations to optimize it for the host code, x86. And in, and in case, case of, of and that, that is actually true, true for, for both vertex and x86. In, in case of x86, uh, something, something that makes it a little bit easier in some sense is both host code, code and corner code are all running on x86, so that they are sharing the same memory space. So that it is much simpler in terms of memory copies, memory locations, and then that so so supposed to be on the discrete GPU, so now it becomes, becomes an integrated, integrated GPU or say the CPU part. part. So, so in order, order to uh, run this CUDA, CUDA program into x86, uh, we CUDA program is a bit in a sense that it has many, many number of threads thread and blocks, blocks. And, and then, we, then, then we, we need to collapse. Uh, and, and to the, the, by, by using a full loop, loop, we have to uh, collapse this job because so that we can run, run the pure number, number of threads. Thread. And then the, the typical uh, and the challenge is you cannot, cannot just collapse, collapse and especially, especially if you have a synchronization within the between the state mode, then, then we have, have to collapse before the synchronization and then another loop for the next synchronization. And then, and then when, when you have this work, work when, when the work, work feature is exposed as a program model, model like, like work shuffle or both these features, then, then we, we need to add, add one more even uh, loops, loops that, that we have, have to do perform this work by work, 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 work. 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 So this, this, this mapping, we propose this mapping and, and, and call the call. It's, it's done, done for the CPU, but it's not only for the CPU that we need, actually. Uh, if, if the number of the hardware thread is not as many as uh, NVIDIA Spire GPU, which is the case for the Vortex, uh, Vortex number of thread is much fewer than NVIDIA GPU, even though it's much higher than CPU cases, but it is also much fewer than uh, 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 sorry, uh, NVIDIA GPU. So that we still need to do this kind of collapse, otherwise we will end up having too many threads and we will pay the overhead for that. 
So they so they co provide a, a, a pretty, pretty good, good coverage because we, we are working on this LLVM level, level whereas ETC and ECP5 from IntelliMD is doing a source source translation. So there is always a, uh, they're, they're open, open now. Right? There is open. There is some challenges. That some corner cases in the hand of properly, and which, which uh, prevent from running, from running on the platform, platform without modifying, modifying source code. code. Whereas, Whereas if, if you just rely on this compiler, compiler front end, that, that problem is much, much less. less. And then, and then uh, uh, this, this then, then uh, uh, the cup uh, with the, with the runtime, runtime system, system is, is provided by pretty, uh, pretty regional performance with the commercial other product, product of the DTPC or CPUs. And, and these, these are reserved from, from the CPU, CPU side. side. And then, and then we, are we are currently uh, working on for the vertex. vertex. Uh, so as of now, several benchmarks are actually run on the vertex system. But, but we, are we are working, working on, on to provide uh, performance improvement. And then, then there is still there are some corner cases, cases we have to debug. So, so we hopefully we could share, share more features in the, the later of this year that, that how we want to put the vertex. vertex. And in, and in order, order to support the CUDA on vertex, uh, the vertex needs a separate runtime system. system. Uh -huh. Just, Just like, like I said, said six has, has a separate runtime system, system to support CUDA. CUDA. The vertex also needs a corresponding uh, uh, DPRT. Uh, DPRT is needed there for the CUDA part. part. And then, and then uh, so, so there, there is a part that, that uh, we share with the COPA frame to convert to CUDA to X86. And then we can share lots of the frame. And on top of that, we also need to use the passes that generate vertex binary. So the split joints are still to be inserted here. So that part is done in this, again, in this code of the vertex path. And, and why, why we are interested in this uh, CUDA support? Because uh, CUDA is actively used for high-performance computer workload, and also CUDA is actively used for ML workload. But supporting ML frame has two challenges. One, uh, it is very essential to support CUDA and N, which is the main uh, library component for the ML workload. However, if we rely on compiler or front end, that means we need to have a source code. code. And, and could the end end is a closed source, source. So, so we cannot can really uh, generate the vertex code, code for the could the end end. And so, so the method, method that we can also uh, look at is uh, we can uh, Intel, luckily Intel is probably Intel's one API, probably lots of DNA libraries. And, and then they are providing a source code, code. So, so that we, we can, can go into this uh, Intel 1, 1 API and, and, and source code, code to go to the vertex, vertex uh, backend. Back That's, That's a one, one method, method that we can then use. It. Uh, uh, right, right now, now this uh, could be uh, uh, similar to could be there are quite, quite a lot of efforts going on for open source version. So that when you have open source version, you can use it. That's, That's a one, one method, method we are uh, applying, applying to pursue. pursue. And, and that, uh, there, are there are many frames are the using ML, ML and it's uh, actively, actively going on in research for us the how do we efficiently support this uh, ML, ML workload. Work. Uh, so, this, as a future, future research, research it goes on the vertex, vertex side, side um, um, one of, One of the, the interesting questions, questions that we, uh, we have at this moment is since the vector of uh, uh, V65 is actively going on, on and, and, and after the replication of the uh, vector in ISA. So, so we, are we are also exploring, exploring uh, what, what happens, happens if we use both vector and this GPU. And how, and how do they even combine it? And that's, and that's a, uh, one, one interesting question, question that we are exploring. And then the, the reason, reason that, that we have a uh, fewer number, number of threads that NVIDIA GPU, uh, the, the evaluation, evaluation that we had had much fewer, fewer that's because, because we didn't, didn't really need it large ones. ones. Because, because the, 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 the fact, fact that we're, we're using FPJ makes the, the, the CPU and memory latency, latency level the, uh, gap, gap is much, much smaller than the AG chip. chip. So, so we didn't, didn't really have, have to have too many number of threads to hide the memory latency. So that, that sort of uh, reduced uh, our motivation to have too many 
uh, thread. thread. Nonetheless, Unless, even, even if, if we, uh, we, have we have a law, the ISA limitation itself is blocking, blocking us to, to have a too many support for too many threads thread because we are using a risk of five ISA. ISA. Means each each thread, thread always had, uh, has, has to have a to register, register files, file, which is a big difference with NVIDIA GPUs. NVIDIA GPU number of threads. Uh, sorry, sorry, number, number of registers, registers are very difficult. Uh, that's, that's so if they, they needed, needed they could, they could have, have a small number of registers. So here, here because, because we are using, using risk of five ISA, it's always, always a fixed set dotted dot two, which uh, sort of limits limit how many uh, threads can, can have in a given size. So, so do we, we want to change that part? part? Or, or, that's that's uh, something we want to look into it. And then, and then uh, performance optimization opportunities in the, in the hardware, hardware side, side, and then, and then even the COPPA frame, frame and compiler side, side when, when you do a translation from this uh, CUDA to this uh, COPPA frame, frame. If, if we are not, not careful, careful we, uh, we, we, we destroy, destroy the memory the locality. locality. Uh, that, that, and and the, the moment we heard the memory locality, locality there is a huge performance degradation, degradation, especially in, in this uh, GPU architecture, architecture because, because if, if we convert, convert collapsed memory, memory quads uncollapsed, then, then performance, performance degradation will be 7x, 10x. So, so then then how, how do you maintain, maintain this memory, memory collapsing effect, effect in, the in the compilation time? time. And then, and then or, or what about, about other optimizations, optimizations that uh, uh, programmers put on effort to optimize for the CUDA, CUDA code? And, and how do you preserve those optimizations when you port into different? different. Sometimes, Sometimes it's, it's very, very different, different GPU architecture. GPU architecture. So, so those, those are sort of research, research questions, questions we're uh, exploring. exploring. And then, and then also uh, support for CUDA and, and support for Zongo. And, and we, we, are, uh, uh, we started this project, project as an open source project, project we're hoping to be a uh, uh, research platform to use for architecture, compiler, and OS research. research. And, and uh, we, uh, we uh, want to support uh, features, features to enhance this research, research and even for the security. security. And, and also uh, uh, to, to acknowledge that, that um, a, lot a lot of work is done, done by the Blaze and also compiler support for a lot of them by Robin. And, and, and then there are many uh, our PhD students, students and many, many Vortex uh, volunteers and undergraduate math students, students are uh, will significantly contribute to this project. And then uh, there are several uh, funding agencies and companies are supporting contributes piece, piece by piece, piece. Uh, no, no uh, big uh, funding, funding agency, agency on this project, project was uh, one or two uh, ends up supporting work piece, piece by piece, piece some components component that, that help us to carry, carry this research. research. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. And, and more uh, components, uh, the, uh, the papers, papers and, and other content are in the homepage in the, home page, in the, in the vertex system that has the content. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, yeah. I will, I will take, take a question and also, also I saw the... the uh, Slido? You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah there is a... And, and, so, so I can answer, answer many of the questions, questions there. I don't know whether I want to answer those questions first or I want to answer the audience questions. questions. Yeah, I think the audience can go first. Uh, do we have <laughs> any uh, audience want to like to ask questions here? Nope. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Thank thank you. Uh, 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 thank you for your presentation and. Um, uh, you mentioned that uh, there, uh, you have two methods to uh, run CUDA code on the RISC V processors, and uh, I want to know uh, the main differences between these two methods and uh, what is the better. Uh, you mean compared to RISC V versus uh, our, our Vortex, or, or compared to RISC V versus CPU? Um, um, no, no, I, 
I mean, 就是嗯呃、um, uh, ，you you mentioned that 就是呃 ，there 嗯呃 ，the method one is the 呃、uh, ，you you add 呃、uh, another path into the compilation flow and the other method is 嗯、um, cool 哎 cool cool bump and yeah. Oh, 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 so, oh, so two, two methods. methods. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, when, when we did, did it, when, when we started, started this work, work method, method two, two using, using the, the biggest, biggest difference between method one and method two, is method, method, method one, one is you go to the and, and then you, from the security, it goes to the different platform. platform. Whereas uh, method, method two is you don't go to the security, everything just stays in a little bit And then there at at that, At that time, time, the, the reason, reason we uh, move out to the sphere B was the sphere B was a lack of few CUDA advanced features which are not in OpenSea because sphere B is based on OpenSea. So it was more the coverage issues. The performance is at the end of the day they are using the same LLVMs from the back end. So performance issues is not. There, there, it, it was, was uh, more, more about, about the coverage, coverage issues. issues. And, and now, now the sphere B is actively changing. So, so the, the simple, simple coverage question is, uh, is, is a sort of a uh, absolute problem. problem. I'm not, I'm not sure, sure. I cannot really say absolute, but it will be absolute, absolute, absolute problem, problem because the sphere B is also trying to add more, more features. features. And, and I know, I know like, like a, uh, as a sphere B allows some custom extensions, like for example, Intel supports uh, other features, and AMD is, is going to do so. Those coverage issues are less important because, uh, anyway, sphere B is going to support all of them. And then, then whether you use sphere B or not is. Uh, 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 the, another, another challenge, challenge is, is uh, it, it is not a fundamental problem. problem. Uh, this is the way how the current platform is like, like for example, the is plus plus. Sphere B is uh, a, a compiler that takes the sphere B at the really late pipeline of the compiler uh, phase. phase, which means. Uh, it, it, the, the compiler optimization has not done too, too much, much from, from the sphere B. B. Um, but it, it, it didn't have, have to be. be the, uh, it could be the could be the can it take. Uh, uh, it is a, a sphere B generation part to be done, done lots of optimization, optimization and then going to there and then take the sphere B and then do perform optimization. It just have to be that the current platforms were treated to sphere B as. Uh, as, as if it is all well optimized to that platform, whereas uh, not, not, that's, that's not, not always the case that for producing a sphere B binary. Uh, that, that they, they might just generate sphere B binary, binary and really all use stage, stage on the compiler. And it's, it's more, more about implementation issues that might cause you to perform a degradation. But it's not really fundamental problem using a sphere B. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, can I uh, refer uh, this to um, uh, when we choose one method to uh, over another? Is uh, the main concern uh, is the uh, uh, platform compatibilities uh, is and rather than the performance? Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. So, so th that's, that's why, why I say we don't, don't know, know which method, method will be better. better. Because, because uh, in, in theory, theory sphere B was the better option. option because, because in theory, sphere B is supposed to be provided by all other vendors. The reality was uh, that there are more uh, technical challenges we observe it in going, going through sphere B, where just staying on LLVM was much reliable. Okay. But, uh, Okay. And if all, all the other companies, companies were like, trying to support the sphere B and, and they're actively improving the back end side at the sphere B, then, in, in, then, in, then, in, then if you can rely on, on that all other vendors, vendors are providing the optimized port for, for the sphere B, then, then it's actually, actually better to just, just have a sphere B and then, and then, and then, then all other vendors are optimized for their own architecture. 
Okay, thank you. And my another question is, um, I saw uh, your uh, your future work. Uh, one of your future works is uh, to combine the uh, vector and CMT uh, architecture. Um, can you briefly expl explain the difference between these architectures and how to uh, combine these two to uh, do do something uh, interesting? Uh, uh, so. so It's actually, it's actually a good, good, good uh, question uh, that, that I uh, the, 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 the vortex, vortex versus, versus, uh, vortex versus uh, vector. The main, the main difference, difference is uh, whether it's... Uh, the main difference... Uh, there are two differences. The vortex versus uh, vector, in my opinion. One, One is uh, vectors. Other than we have, have holes and device, device concept. concept. That, that everything, everything runs in the host, and, and if, if the loop is, is parallelized, it will be parallelized, parallelized with, with the back ISA. So, so there is no. Uh, it, it, it is, is pros, pros and cons, cons for that. that. One, One is, is uh, 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 if, if the pro side, side is there is no, no separate, separate divider, divider there's, there's, there's no reason to have copies and parts. But, but downside, downside is, is that means, means you have, have a post code, code, a single thread code, code and vector code, code that mix it, and, and hardware is there that use that, that run, run both, both single thread and multi thread, and, and it's not necessarily always efficient. Whereas if you have a like GPU, GPU, a separate device, and host code, code is running more for the CPU, a single thread performance, and but the device more optimized for multi so, so it can, can provide more better utility. utility. So, so these are sort of arguable, arguable points, in my opinion. opinion. The, the other important, important part is whether, whether you can support, support divergences. divergences. That, that is the, 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 the upper, upper part, part of the divergence. The vector, the vector can, can do it. It's it just, just having a predication to say which threads are active or not. That will be done with the vectorization. The vectorization, vectorization code, code is produced, produced it, 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 all, all the threads, threads are working, working on the same thing, thing. and then and except, except that the uh, predication bit indicate which threads it will produce a user or not. Whereas the same case, it, it allows to go to the different path. path. That, that the, the path, path like, like the A, B, C, C D, D, that, that uh, uh, it, it simply allows it goes to some, some part goes, goes to B, B, some part goes, goes to C, C and, and then, then it combines it. And, and, and the other important part uh, is, is uh, vectorization. The, the compiler, compiler has to produce a vector instruction. Whereas in simply, uh, we, we, we build the vortex. vortex. Uh -huh. We don't want this issue number of instructions. instructions. That, that because, because the compiler doesn't need really really to, to, to have, have a separate, separate instruction for the many thread multiplication, many, many thread addition, many, many, many thread load point, point operations. The vector, the vector instruction, instruction has like, like 200, 200 instructions because, because every single arithmetic, arithmetic operation has a separate vector, vector instruction, and then the compiler has to produce all these different cases. Whereas the vertex just needs to simply say. We are splitting a thread, we are splitting, we are joining. And because, and because we, we, need, we are handling with the split and join, when do we need those, those parts, part, the barriers? The barriers. So, so then, then the, the compiler, compiler I, I emphasize a lot of compiler at first uh, in this talk, talk but uh, compared, compared to, in our opinion, opinion the compared, compared to what the vector instructions, instructions and vector, vector compiling to support, this, this, we, we think, think this, this is much lighter. Part. So, so that's, that's the big, big difference between, between the vector, vector versus, versus the simplicity. Then, then when, when we, we say uh, we, uh, we are combining, combining we're, we're thinking about combining, combining is uh, uh, that the code could have, have code to still have, have a vector, vector instruction. instruction. The single thread part could be vectorized. And then and when, when you have, have a vector, vector code on, on top of the CMT, how, how, what, what do we do, do with it? it? 
I mean, we, yeah, can we can also expand, expand this combination, combination of vector and city. And and whether, whether this is a good idea, idea or bad idea, idea actually, I'm not sure. sure. Uh, that's, that's why, why we think it's a research possible we can explore. And, and the, the other part is, when you have a given hardware, how do you build vector and city? Because city is... If you, if you have, have like, like four ALUs, ALUs the four threads uh, work uh, uh, with, with that, 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 that that equivalent to the having a, a, a four wide vector unit. unit. So so how, how are we going, going to uh, use a vector and synthesis together, together to support more with thread? thread. That, that, uh, how, how to, to make it more efficient? efficient. That's, That's the research process we want to explore. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, we have we can still have one question because we have a question is on the slide, but uh, maybe one or two question for the audience. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, very interesting uh, research you're doing there. Um, I'll try to be really quick. Uh, two related questions. Uh, have you thought about whether this instruction set edition is ready for standardization. Are you proposing to push it forward? And the second thing is, do you think some of what you worked on here, especially the split and join in the compilers, are useful for more general purpose things? I'm thinking about simulations and things like that, where you have uh, multiple uh, independent things that could use many, many threads. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so yes, thank, thank you. you. The, the first, first question, question uh, uh, yes, yes, we are trying to uh, officially propose these instructions as an extension for the risk of five. Uh, we're a little bit uh, slow in introducing ISA documentations. So we're right talking in the, uh, the folks, folks in the risk of five. Uh, Working, working group, group and to, to discuss, discuss this is possibility. So, so we are uh, because uh, we have uh, like, like one, one of the motivation for us is we want to use, use that, uh, we want to make this useful, useful for, for other people, people for doing the research, research etc. Et we uh, uh, and then in second, second we we, we made the changes in every platform. These changes we wanted to. To, to make, make those, those changes, changes are contributing back, back to this original, original open, open source, source like, like LLVMs or Pocos and, and other parts. Part. And, and we think, think there will be probably much, much more easier to ask, ask the, the, those, those kinds of support if, if the ISA is any type of custom, custom version. version. Uh, one, one thing, uh, but, but one, one thing, thing that we, we some, some of the questions that, that come with the slides there. One, one thing we haven't, haven't done, done is actually we have not done any work whether this ISA is, is any pattern, pattern violations or not. In that, that part, part uh, since, since we, we are, are in, in academia, academia, we are a little bit uh, more uh, take it as granted, granted to make it open source, source and, and we only think about the uh, contribution part. part. And and honestly, honestly, we haven't, haven't done, done too much, much work about uh, whether, whether we are, we are doing, doing any uh, pattern, pattern infringing or not. Or not. That, that, I guess, I guess uh, as, uh, as a commercial, commercial if, if this, this is going, going to commercial, there will be a big, big Challenge questions, questions that, that mean, this is be valid, valid to make sure, sure it's not. not. And, and that, that part is sort of, of a, 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 being academic, we, we, we didn't. Uh, 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 <laughs> did that draft. Uh, 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 the other, other question, question whether this, this ISA will be used for, for, for in the other, other workload? workload? That, 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 that question, question I couldn't fully understand. Other workload. I mean, uh, again, again it's, 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 there I don't, don't really have, have a strong data, data to, to prove, prove it. it. Yeah, sorry, maybe I can, maybe I can, uh, so for instance, think about a spice simulation for circuit simulation where you have many small uh, individual models that need to be run in parallel in order to accelerate it, right? Something like that. Um, I think Sandia Labs is working on uh, a parallel version of spice right now. It seems to me that you could even use the Berkeley version of spice if split and join was uh, aggressively finding these 
these points. I, su I suspect that maybe it might be a memory barrier problem, but nonetheless, uh, that, that's the kind of thing I was thinking about. Hmm. A anyway, I'd like, to, I'd like to communicate about that, so maybe we can take it offline I if you had thought about it. Uh, yeah, 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 I, I think, think uh, maybe, 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 maybe uh, 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 taking, taking offline maybe help for. Uh, one, yeah. one thing I wanted, I wanted to just, just uh, to answer, answer maybe it's not, not the question, question I asked, ask, but, but one thing I want to add is, uh, is uh, personally, uh, uh, although, although I don't, I don't have, have a strong data, data to support it, having, having a split to join mm. allows to increase more workload right. to support the data. Otherwise, Otherwise, it could have been a, the, the uh, factorization is still, even, even though it's multiple decades, decades of the project, project mm. still mm. limits. So, so this, this is a, a, a way, way to, to sort of, uh, reduce, reduce the problem, problem but, but it's hard, hard to, to kind of quantify that part. But, but I'm not sure that's, that's why you're asking right now, but, that's, but that's, uh, I, I wanted want to just mention that part. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so we actually, that we're at the break time, but we still have some questions on the Slido, so I would think I will go through the Slido questions very quick. Uh, hi, Dr. Kim, can I share my screen? Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, maybe. Not sure. Yeah. Can I start? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you a lot. Okay. okay. Let's run through the Slido. Uh, the first question from Chris Ho. Uh, is Chris, Chris Ho here? Maybe he's online because we're also doing the broadcasting. Okay, is there a conformance test way for CUDA just like the OpenCL CTS? Uh, true, I'm not, not aware of, of that. that uh, okay, you, I think I, I don't know there if there's conformance test for CUDA as, as well. So, okay, uh, let's try this out. Uh, if I understand correctly, the CUDA support for Vertex is an offline style. It translates to uh, IR. I, mean, I think that is uh, the SPRV. Aesthetically, correct me if I'm wrong. If there's any plan for dynamic translation, I'm not quite sure about this question, but Dr. King, how is your opinion on this? If we start uh, Asking about sort of can you do just in time compilation? I think that's the yeah. I think that's what he's asking. So, so uh, we've been, been also exploring similar to just in time compilation. We make just in time compilation in the sense, sense that we sort of uh, generate multiple versions of the code and then choose. And then, and then we, we see, see there, there is a truly quite a big, big uh, value of doing, doing those options. Uh, but but providing as a frame the perform the work is, is, mm, is not in our work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I see. That, but, but, uh, yeah. I understand. I, 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 okay, please I, go I, ahead. I, 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 uh, hello? Yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, so this, this question, question that we uh, add, that, that, uh, like, like open OpenCL, um, just, just not compilation is also supported by, by default, by the API. Um, um, although for Vortex, we, we don't leverage that feature. That feature. Um, meaning, meaning that, that if, when, when you run, run on OCR program, program, at the moment when you're running, that's the moment when you compile the kernel, kernel and then and upload that into the device. device. Um, but for, for us, for Vortex, Vortex we, we, we still, still kind of use the offline compilation. Uh, but supporting, um, supporting uh, just the compilation, compilation will not be too much necessary for us. It's just it's that we just, just do not have time, time to, to, to explore that, that part. Um, but, but the dynamic, dynamic translation, I think, is a slightly different context. I think this is more like, like uh, if, you, if, you, if you know the... If you're familiar with the ISA of the target device, um, at the wrong time, you do the translation from, let's say, the NVIDIA ISA to the RISC-5 ISA. Um, I think that's, it, 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 it seems like it's grabbing in the, the question that is asked here, and, 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 and this is a, um, this is quite a, a completely different topic at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> okay, so maybe because we, we have your emails, maybe I will, I will ask these people to ask around this uh, offline. And uh, yes, I see in this in the Skybox paper, the Vortex microarchitecture lacks the graphic pipeline needed to accelerate it to accelerate 3D rendering application. What was missing in Vortex? Sorry, I, I, to be very honest, I didn't read the Skybox paper. Uh, do you know? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's a good question. question. So, so in, in Vortex, Vortex, we implemented the texture, texture unit extension. extension. Um, um, this, this is just, just a, um, the standard, standard OpenCL and, and CUDA API, API um, also, also support imaging, imaging uh, applications. applications. Um, like the, the type of imaging application that you need for imaging uh, uh, API that you need for, for like Photoshop. Photoshop. Um, and, and for, for that, that, the texture, texture extension is one of the, the, the additional hardware for accelerating this, this, this type, type of operations. operations. Um, but, but it's, it's not, not, it doesn't give you support for, for an actual graphics pipeline. pipeline. Um, um, so, so in the, the Skyboard work, we, we actually implemented the graphics uh, uh, pipeline, like, like, like the grass rise, for, for instance, instance uh, which, which is a key component, component of, of, of the, the, of of the, the traditional graphics pipeline. pipeline. Um, um, I, I, I think, think that, that kind of answers answer, answer the question. Okay, thank you so much for answering that part. Uh, the pattern infringement, I think that Professor Kim had already said that uh, we are ac academic, so we're taking it for granted. We will, maybe if somebody wants to do it commercially, then they need to do it. The lawyer job for us, <laughs> so let's just strike this out. And any plans on taping test trips, not just Vortex but also Skybox? Uh, I don't know. Do 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 you have plans on this? So, so uh, uh, yes, yes, that, that answer the question. question. So, so uh, we, we like, like to, to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, are we are exploring, and there, there are, are some, some other, other groups. groups that are, are also trying, trying this moment. moment. Uh, and, and, and there are even a, some, some place that actually did a similar version of, of this as, as a small tape out, out but, but uh, we're working, working on, on that part. part. So, so it's, it's kind of an ongoing, ongoing process. I see. Good to hear that. Uh, I saw Professor King asking whether the contributor of Vortex and Skybox work back to the respite graphic groups. OK, that's the same question we have here. So maybe we can skip this part. We have three minutes left for the next talk. Uh, are there reasons other than pattern three standard to use respite as the best instruction set? So, so we, we actually uh, started this project, project with our, our own, own ISA, 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 ISA before. 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 <laughs> Uh, we, 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 we had, had our, our own ISA version, version of GPU, GPU. And, and the main, main challenge, challenge that we, if, if we, we did, did a FPGA, FPGA demo, demo and, and something, uh, I mean, it's not exactly, exactly it is, it is something, something similar line, line that, that we're, we're trying, trying to build open GPU, GPU with our own ISA. ISA. The, the main, main challenge was once the PhD student graduates, graduates. <laughs> nobody <laughs> is, is able to uh, continue. So. <laughs> The, the region we, we uh, the, 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 the part that we like to was the, the, there is a community of the and, and that's, that's the biggest, biggest uh, uh, benefit, benefit that, that we were seeing. seeing. We, we can, can utilize the huge community, community of open source community, community to, uh, to to develop. develop. And uh, one, one of the, the big, big uh, <laughs> the idea, idea we want to have is how can you develop the frame that sort of localize our, our changes, changes so, so that, that we, we can, can utilize the rest of the other community. I see. Okay, so the last question is uh, Feng Chen. Uh, my apology if I overlooked in the Micro uh, 21 thesis, and I'm curious about the completeness of the Vortex uh, OpenGL stack. Will it, uh, it will be good to see it on the metrics.net. I believe this is something like the Conformance test or something like that. Yeah, this is showing the the complete uh, the implementation completeness of the API. So yeah, uh, curious about that. Uh, is it so? I think that. Uh, uh, hello. Yes. yes. So, so I think I will take this question. So this is a it's 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 a conformance. Uh, a conformance uh, framework for the. So, so, so at, at the, the moment, moment, we don't have, we have, we have not, not 
how did it change, change to run the graphics uh, performance text for, for both text. text. I see. Um, which is something that I'd be planning to do um, in, in, in the near future. future. I see. Um, Thank you, because we have two minutes left for the next speaker. And let's give a big applause to Dr. Professor Kim and Professor Time. Thank you. And